there. You got a good sense of yourself. You've been grounding your feet in the sand and the soil. You got rid of your grief case and your insecurities and you're on your purpose securing that bag. Now you want to elevate even higher to the second level, the sacral chakra, which lies between your navel and your groin. So it's in between that space of your groin and your navel. And this energy field is strictly about sensuality and creativity on all levels like i'm not saying you have to be an artist or you have to be some type of writer or musician creation comes in all forms and without this sexual sensual energy there'd be no creation in the world whatsoever so even you watching this there was a form of creation that took place for you to enter this material world. And that was used with the sexual, sacral, sexual energy of the sacral chakra. And all forms of creativity is a form of sex. Like take a look at the internet and you see, let's take if you're a foodie and you're into food, there's all these food pages that has food porn or if you're if you're a guy that's into sneakers sneaker porn why is that because creation and creativity is one in the same thing when you're being sexual with your spouse your intimate one you're being creative as well you're using your sacral energy to form a sexual bond with that other person this is all creation you don't have to be a musician to be creative. Creation is just a way of life. And when we embody this power of being creative, you're one of a kind because no one is you. This is when you have a balanced foundation, AKA the root chakra, where you have a strong sense of self and then you go into the next energy field expressing yourself. This could be sexually, or if you're a chef, you could be coming up with new ways how to cook meals for a wider range of diets or livids, I should say. I don't say diets, I say livids. Because we eat to live, we don't live to eat, baby. But create, let's look at the sacral chakra in a creative aspect rather than the sexual because I see a lot of people associating the sacral chakra with sexual, and it is sexual, but it's not, it's not completely sexual as you may seem. The sexual aspect comes from the creation. And even though you may be not making a baby, it's the act of creating a baby. It's just all about creation. So I know with the root chakra, you've been eating all your red apples, your fruits, your, your red fruits, your raspberries, your cherries, your strawberries, you've eaten all of, all of that. So to help drive your creative energy from within or your sexual energy, consume orange fruits, you know, oranges, papaya, pumpkin, squash, carrots, all of that. Each chakra is associated with its with a color, and the color of the sacral chakra is orange. So all of the sacral chakra aligns with creativity. And when you move into this creative space of your sacral chakra, you meet you the ideas just flow through you. You don't have to sit down and brainstorm and hurt your brain with a hundred ideas because when you're opening this sacral chakra, ideas are being thrown at you from the universe. I wrote some notes. I didn't want to miss anything. And just to, just to be on the safe side, I'm not sure how many of you are actually using your sacral chakra correctly because we also live in a sex driven society you may be already using your sacral sacral chakra but you may it may be overactive 
This could be from an addiction that you may have, a sexual addiction, and there's no there's no set number on how often one should have sex. It's up to the individual on what makes you an addict. And that may be the most difficult part. So what I'm going to say is, is what you're doing and how often you're doing it affecting your personal life and relationship with others in a negative way? If it's affecting you in a negative way, then you are addicted. So for those who are using the sacral chakra strictly for sexual creation, take a step back and try to transmute that energy into putting it towards your purpose in life. Because we all are set here for a purpose. The next time you feel that, oh, that, that urge like you want to bust, transmute that energy up and use it as a brainstorm session on 10 things you want to get accomplished for the year. And then at the end of that list, you may even come up with something that you may end up doing that would replace that sex. Because the main exercise we choose to exercise the sacral chakra is sex for most people. Unless you're like an artist or a designer or anything like that. This is how we exercise our sacral chakra, but that's not the only way to exercise your sacral chakra. It could also be grounding too. You could also go to a place where you resonate with, your spirit resonates with, and that could be a form of therapy and creation in oneself. Like going to the beach, I'll take me as an example, going to the beach, right? And after I used to be locked up in an office all day, not getting any vitamin D, not getting any fresh air, I was losing myself. So I would go to the beach and create myself just in a natural environment. And when I say create myself, I mean getting one with the environment. This is reprogramming my insides to more homeostasis, homeostasis status on where I naturally belong. Because think about that place where you don't belong. And you know, you know if you don't belong somewhere. Think of that place where you don't belong, whether it be a job or with a negative friend group. Do you truly feel yourself? Do you feel that you're open to receiving ideas in these spaces where you don't feel like you belong? No, right? This is the closing of your sacral energy, of that creative energy. You ever wonder how some people are so creative and wow, that was amazing. How do you get that idea? These people are in tune with that creative energy and each person is different, but there's a lot of creatives that like to create in solitude, me being one of them. There's musicians who like to create in solitude or if they don't create in solitude, the people around them are producing or helping them with that product with that project they're just they're not empty space in the studio session there's a lot of people who are like this like you have to surround yourself with creative people and that energy will go off will go on towards you and then you could use that creative energy but you could also get this energy from within yourself if you take a step back by just going in the proper environments, listening to that inner voice, and having confidence with yourself. If you have these three things and then you go in the direction of your purpose, the ideas are bound to come. It's not that some people are gifted and some aren't. Some people are just using their energy and their mind better than you. And it's time for you to start optimizing the best form the best thought patterns and best action taking skills uh, that was ugly <laughs>
best practice skills to make you develop those creative ideas and turn them into reality. It's really about taking your imagination and then bringing it to a reality. This is all creative energy is. It's all about creation. And really, the main aspect of just creating anything is just to do it with a purpose. There has to be a higher purpose in anything you create. That's when the ultimate art comes from. And this is where you step into the realm of living in your truth by just through your creations. And it's just the creations that will ultimately help us be more free in this matrix. And you notice people who create bodies of work, whether it be books, albums, clothing designs, they relate to that body of work as their baby. Like, oh, you see those shoes I designed over there? That's my baby. Sacral energy, creativity, creation, sensuality, it's all in one thing. You wake this up by using it. Creativity is a muscle. If you don't use it, you lose it. Now, get out there and create. You see, I painted this a few years ago. This was not my first painting, right? But I was doing some art research and a great artist said, you have to paint, you have to get a thousand paint, a thousand bad paintings out of the way before you start doing any good ones. And most people don't have that patience to get to a thousand paintings. Better yet, a thousand bad ones. Remember, nothing good comes easy. If it was easy, everybody else would be doing it. This is a secret to the sacral energy and keeping it open. Whether you're going through writer's block or you just feel uninspired, that's okay too. Just take a step back, eat your oranges, reflect, put on some 417 hertz and just This is it. And the fun part of your cre about creativity is to take it light. It's not something you're supposed to take seriously. The root chakra is the serious one. You got that out the way. Now it's just a form of expression and creation. That song you've been thinking about writing, do it. That book you've been thinking about writing, do it. That clothing design you've been thinking about sewing and making and drafting together, just do it. Don't let your inconfidence block your sacral chakra. This is more studios. Get the book, The Cage Bird Still Flies, on Amazon, link below. Like, share, comment, subscribe.